Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. In this short video, I'll talk about styling your post and other content on the Grasshopper system. Let's look at a post, although all other data elements will work in pretty much the same way. When we create a post, we'll create one just like we did before with a title, with a link, with an author, and with a journal title, and we'll put in some content and then we'll click Submit, just like before. Now notice that Grasshopper styles all of this for you automatically. Here's the title, and behind the title is a link to the link that we entered. Here's the content that we typed in, and then after the content we see a link to the author, a link to the journal, and a link to comment on the post, and a link again that takes you directly to the link that you entered. This styling comes automatically with Grasshopper and you can change this according to your own taste and we'll talk about that in a later video. But suppose you want to put some styling right in the description of your post. Grasshopper supports pretty much all HTML which means that if you know HTML you know how to style in Grasshopper. For example this is some here's a bold tag bold content and when I submit that we see here is the bold that I just entered. I can do that with pretty much all major types of tags. So here's a set of tags, headlines, bold, italic, and underlined. And as you can see when I update the uh, record, headline, bold, italic, and underlined. As well, I can put links right into my document. For example, let's suppose I want a link to my home page then I'll just type in the link. Here's the URL that I want it to go to. Here's the thing I want to show up on the web page and this will create a functioning link. I'll update my record and there is my link and as you can see it works. If I want to put an image into my post then I use the image tag and here is the image tag in action. It's just IMG and then source and then the image that I want to link to. And I'm updating again and here's the image. If you're not sure of the address of the image that you want to link to, find it on the web then right click and you get this drop down copy image location and then we'll come back to the editing screen here and we'll change the, the location of our image there's the new location and we'll update. And here's the image. Now that's a bit wide for my taste so why don't I change the width and we'll change the width with the width parameter and we'll update. And now I have a, a much better image and if I want I can even set the alignment. Let's, let's left justify our image and we can see now that it's left justified. 